Hello everybody, Dan here. A few days ago, send me your house pics user from Blender subreddit asked hyperrealistic 3D confetti particle. Does anyone know where I could find them? And then I asked for a reference image and here is the image that he posted. So I thought, let's do a tutorial about it. Seems to be uh, quick enough and the interesting effect and some of you may find it helpful. And here it's my result. Before we start, please subscribe to this channel. I publish tutorial every week and I accept requests on what tutorial you want to see next. In the scene we have a particle system, a camera facing upwards, the confetti start from the ground level and flows down towards the camera. So at the end you want to choose the right frame and you can move the camera around until you have the right framing. But let's see how I built the first element of this tutorial, which is gonna be each single confetti. Here are the particles that I used. It's really easy to create something like this. You create a cylinder without the caps. Let's move it so you can see better. Then the smooth shading for the normal so you don't see the segments. Select the faces that you want to keep, faces or vertexes. And this one was basically the first one and then scale it to be a little flatter. And then for this one I selected the central part and with proportional smooth editing I then move it like this. With the scroll wheel you can decide the influence of the proportional editing and actually you can probably select the edge in the middle and do the same. Material wise it's a very simple principal shader, nothing special here. Base color, metallic surface and some roughness. I haven't changed anything else. All this reflection you're seeing is given by the look dev mode HDRI called Studio Lighting Setup. I think it's the one that better match the reference image. Once you have your particles, you select them, you put them in a collection. And in this case, I have them already in the collection called Confetti, but you can create a new one. I'm going to hide my collection, so in the scene I have nothing. Don't forget when you create a new object to select the collection where you want the object to be created so it's already in the right spot in the scene. So Taurus, for example. And yeah, I don't need a lot of segments, to be honest. I only need a few. This is gonna be our particle emitter. And I don't need any material because it's gonna be hidden anyway. So no material for the torus. But I will add a modifier called particle system. And as you can see, let's go in the timeline. There are already particles coming out of my object. I set a camera on the bottom of the object. So my particle will fall towards the camera. Let's go in the camera view. And here you can see the particle from below coming towards me but I don't want the particle to be just this hollow so I'm going to the render and instead of hollow I can select a number of things I can select a single object or I can select a collection and that's why we have three different particles in the collection so I can select collection and then select confetti and I have already my particles coming out of the object which are facing all the same direction and they look not realistic at all. Go back to the camera view. First of all we'll say to pick random so they are not picked always in the same order. There may be some more variance. I'm going to remove the emitter not just from the render but also from the viewport display. So I can see my particles only. 
then I'm going to enable rotation and I'm going to randomize it I'm going to randomize the face click on dynamic so in case I want to add more physical forces they will react and now going back to the first frame we'll restart the animation and you can see that now particles are rotating we can increase the randomness and now the particles are all facing a different direction another thing you may want to do is set the scale now each single particle is exactly the same size of the original particle but we can randomize this and you can see as I randomize some of them got very very tiny maybe that's too much and this instead it's the general scale so again depending on the effect you want to achieve you can fine-tune this and now we have quite interesting pattern of particles let's set up the render in Eevee first of all I will enable ambient occlusion I will enable bloom you can see the settings I used but you can really fine-tune them uh, easily I will enable screen space reflections to increase the realism of the reflections especially when there are objects next to each other and then I will enable depth of field I'm going to show you how depth of field works when you set up your camera you have in the depth of field space saying which object it's in your focus I have a Suzanne here which is hidden but it's in the scene as you can see I'm focusing Suzanne this will be disregarded as information if you don't have an object you can move the distance but I find much easier to to do it visually so watching a real object moving the scene so if I move Suzanne in the scene and I say I want my focus to be here all the particles far from Suzanne will be out of focus and the only focus will be the one close to Suzanne let's go back to the camera view as you can see now I have particles that are closer to me as they come closer to the camera they get out of focus and the ones that are close to Suzanne so on the same plane are more in focus we can increase depending on the power of your computer mine is not very powerful the bokeh which is the autofocus part of the photo decreasing the f-stop let's go to 1 still not enough let's go to point 0.1 and now you can clearly see the effect I'll try to 0.6 probably it's good to show you the autofocus one and the focus one and I can probably move Suzanne so you can see in real time how the point of focus change and this become a blurry background if we go back to our emitter and we add more confetti more particles we can have even a better it's a more interesting image let's move Suzanne back so we can have some of them in focus and some of them out of focus I think the result is quite similar to the request but let's add a white background there are different ways to add a background let's remove Suzanne one is to just enable the background of the HDRI but I wanted actually to have a better control on the background so I usually add an object which is a sphere I'm going to go in wireframe and you can see I have background here my camera the particle and this allow me to have more control over the background features to be honest it's just a plain color but you can change the color easily and it's completely unrelated from the HDRI you're using for the environment reflections and lighting I built some other confetti which are the more classic confetti and it's the color confetti I'm going to show you in a moment here are my particles they have a simple noise texture they are very bright so they 
still have the bloom on them let me remove them or probably i can change the threshold to increase the colorful effect some change color depending on the angle of the camera and they are metal with some noise bump texture let's see our particle simulation using instead the golden confetti the colorful paper ones select our emitter and instead of confetti i'm going to choose confetti color and here i have my shower of thousands of maybe hundreds of confetti let's go back to the camera view disable background again we can also add to the collection of paper colorful confetti the golden one so moving one collection inside the other will just work now we also have big particle the big original particle that we want to see so we need to hide them from the scene so remember that if you hide the collection you are not removing the particles you are only hiding the visibility of the original geometry but the particle emitter is still instancing those geometries so they are all copies quite colorful and happy scene. Now let's talk about the word confetti because being Italian the word confetti is not really this piece of flying paper or a uh, very shiny nice thing. They are called coriandoli not confetti. This is what we call confetti. This is a confetto, one confetto. It's a sugar covered almond. It's less than one inch long roughly two centimeter it's quite heavy and if you throw this at people i bet they won't be happy having said that sometimes in the mix of confetti of coriandoli that we throw during the weddings and if you are very unlucky also coins so let's add this to the mix and let's see how they look like let's add some rice the mix i don't even know where are they there's so much stuff going on we can probably remove some of the stuff okay here we are we have our big confetti and we have some rice grain but they are not enough so here you can see one i want more rice actually i'm going to make a collection of only the rice grain and the confetti the real confetti and i'm gonna use this collection which i could call it food in the particle system and here we have the mix of rice and confetti now if you want more rice for example and less of the candies which are as i said very dangerous you can duplicate the object maybe changing a little bit the scale maybe even changing the shape a little bit so they won't look exactly the same and if you really want to do something special you can change the texture and make them even more different let's make the confetto with the different colors so we can recognize them sometimes we have them covered or filled with chocolate and we can have more variants you can see here the mix but we want even more rice grain as we duplicate the rice they will decrease the total number of other objects in the scene and let's say that we really don't want to hurt anyone so we have a good mix of rice and confetti candy back in the camera just hide the old food collection and let's throw them in the air here it is a lot of confetti rice and some candy and now we can probably put in the mix some colorful paper too go back to give lighter color to the sugar coated confetti 
let's change the scale to have them slightly bigger so we can see more particles and we'll also re-enable the depth of field hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial about confetti and particles if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching ciao